going on everyone? It's Ben Zinn with NextLevelGuitar.com and thank you so much for joining us as always. Today we're going to give you a lesson on how to achieve a nice classic country guitar tone. Really great, fun style of music to play and really fun to dial in the sound. So we thought we would bring you a dedicated lesson on kind of how to approach the gear, uh, how to set up with our guitars, our amps, our pedals, as well as a couple of tips and tricks on how to achieve the tone, of course, through our, our hands and how we're playing the instrument as well. But for me, classic country guitar tone is all about twang and cleanliness and, uh, and vibe, right? All these great words, great descriptive words. And guitar-wise, I think if you have a telly, that's that's a no-brainer. That's kind of the classic recipe for, for this type of guitar playing. The guitar I'm using here is a replica of a 1951 Fender Nocaster. Uh, it's called the Nocaster because there was a period of time between when the, the Tele was first made. They actually initially called it a Broadcaster and there was a trademark uh, infringement with another company and sued them and so they had to manufacture these guitars with no name on the headstock. So they came to be known later as the Nocaster before Fender finally decided on the name of the Telecaster that we all know and love. It's essentially the same guitar. Um, as you can see, the, the look, the design has not really changed in 60, 70 years because they got it right. You know, Tele is a very classic, very nice uh, design and very functional. But yes, this is a 51 Nocaster uh, reissue. Kind of has the vintage, the vintage style pickup sound. These are, these are a little bit weaker uh, pickups which I like in, in the telly, um, and it just creates a nice little twangy vibe. If you don't have a telly, that's fine. I think the key component is the twang and the single coil pickups. So telly, classic design, has the two single coil pickups here. And the reason why we like these is because they're very bright and they're very twangy. Uh, now the twangiest of twanginess is going to be the bridge pickup here. So let's just start out by talking about that tone here. And we gotta love all that grit that we have on our telly, right? It's like gritty like old country is gritty. We like to have a little bit of dirt on it. Um, so as we're dialing in our tone here, as I'm bringing in, I'm set all the way back here to the, the bridge pickup. And if I just play a couple of notes here, we just hear that inherent twanginess already. Now, let's talk about how we're going to hit the instrument a little bit. That's where it all starts. We'll cycle back around to this in a minute, but I think a great way to achieve a twangy tone, even if, let's say, you're playing a Les Paul-style guitar or you have humbucking pickups, you don't have single coils, one way you can get that tone is just to pick really close to the bridge back here. All of a sudden, when I play a line, and I move my picking angle back here to the bridge, you hear how much more twang comes out of the instrument when we play back here? So sometimes if I'm playing my Les Paul and I don't want to switch guitars, but I want to get that country tone, I'll just pick back here and you can get a lot of that same vibe. It takes a little bit of getting used to just with your hand position, but that's worth noting there that a lot of what we're doing is simply choosing where we're going to pick to get the maximum amount of twang. As we go into our amp, to me, the classic vibe for, for this style is just a Fender guitar into a Fender amp. In this case, I'm using a replica of a Tweed Deluxe amp, which Fender made in the 50s. This is a low wattage amp, uh, I think 15 watts, 6V6 tubes. And I love this sound because you get that classic Fender clean, an early version of the classic Fender clean. Uh, and you can get a nice clean sound provided you don't crank the amp too much. We're set at a pretty low volume here and we can get a nice crisp sound here. One element to our signal chain that we can talk about is the use of compression when playing clean tone country guitar. 
and we're going to use a compressor today but keeping in mind that depending on the era of country that you're trying to replicate a lot of the really early recordings they're not of course using compressor pedals or oftentimes even compressors in the recordings but you know later country records as we get into the 70s and 80s compression on a clean teletone became a huge part of the of the sound vocabulary right so what is compression well in a nutshell it takes your dynamic range and it squashes it. So what I mean by that is all instruments naturally have a dynamic range, meaning you can play something very uh, soft or by playing harder, I can get more volume out of the instrument. What the compressor does is it takes your quiet playing and it raises the volume level of your quiet playing and it takes your loud playing and it squashes it down. So now instead of having a range of playing from here to here, you have this. Why is this desirable? Well, when you're playing clean tone country guitar, oftentimes we want to have a consistency to the note attack. If you're playing a long run of notes, we want them to be very even. We don't want the volume to go up and down, which is why the compressor uh, really helps us out with this. So if I can give you an example of maybe two runs where we might play something here. If I play a lick like this without the compressor to start. Okay, sounds just fine, but when we kick on the compressor now, everything just kind of smooths out a little bit and it really helps with any sort of notier runs that you're playing like that where you want the attack to, to seem a little bit more even. So the compressor is not a crucial element. Uh, you know, you can certainly play classic country and get great tones without it, but depending on the type of playing that you're doing, it can really help to smooth out some elements of your playing. Now, so we've talked about our guitar. We've talked about a little bit of the picking attack. We've talked about our amp and our compressor. Now let's talk just a little bit about how we're going to implement some of these techniques with our hands. I think, in addition to playing back close to the bridge to achieve that twangier tone, the use of hybrid picking and plucking and pulling on the strings is also a large part of achieving some of this classic country tone. So if we take a look at an example lick here, let's say we're going to do just a simple pedal steel emulation type lick. Okay, so the lick itself is double stop here at the seventh fret and you're going to bend one note up a whole step while the other one stays put. And then you're going to keep that bent, pick and release, and end on E here. So this is a key of E style pedal steel emulation lick. Okay, so now there's a couple of ways you can approach that. Traditional picking, or with a little bit of snap and pluck to it. Now that kind of gets into that chicken picking, clucking sort of realm, right? So the difference there is how we're attacking it. So this is just as important as all the gear setup stuff is how we interact with the gear, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to pick and then you're gonna dig under the string with one of your fingers, in this case, my middle finger, and I wanna pop that string out. So I'm getting underneath of the string and pulling out to achieve that sound. And this really lends itself towards, you know, alternating the pick and the pluck sound. So now all of a sudden our simple pedal steel emulation lick, that works fine in some cases, but if you want a little bit more twang and snap, we're going to get under the strings like that. This style of picking, which of course we go into detail in other lessons here at Next Level Guitar as well as on the website, um, you know, there's a lot that you can do with this in terms of... So that's, you know, getting into the hybrid picking and the banjo, banjo roll style playing is really also a nice element to this. In the beginning, I played a lick like this. very classic kind of turnaround style lick and as you can see there with the right hand 
it was all about the pluck. So getting into these sorts of licks with the pluck as a, a part of the element in conjunction with the clean tone telly, the fender style amp, and the compressor to smooth things out. Now it's all like different ingredients that you're putting into your stew, right? You get all your recipe, you get it out, take all your ingredients, put it in the pot, and uh, out comes that, that country tone with the playing style also a big element to that. So little overview on our classic country guitar tone. In another lesson, we'll go into how to achieve a more modern country tone and kind of highlight some of the similarities and differences there. So be sure and check that out. Keep on the lookout for that. Uh, but yeah, as we mentioned, that is a overview on classic country guitar tone. Great fun style to play love digging into how to set up our gear and how to uh, dial this stuff in so thanks so much for joining us today my name is ben zinn with nextlevelguitar.com and hey head over to the website as we mentioned we go in depth in this style with a ton of additional lessons we have over 2,000 video lessons on the site a lot de devoted to this style of guitar playing, as well as every other style. You know, we have something for everybody there. It's a site that's geared towards players of all styles and all skill levels. So whatever you're into, we got you covered there. Hey, be sure and subscribe to the channel too. That way we'll let you know when we're going to upload new lessons. And we always have great new lesson content coming to you all the time. So we appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, be sure and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And uh, subscribe once again. So this is Ben Zinn for Next Level Guitar. And I will see you guys next time.